Yo, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your football shirts look instantly better. You know, sometimes when you receive a football shirt, there are a lot of creases in it and the name set is all folded. This doesn't look too good, but luckily there's a very easy solution to this common problem. This method is very practical and I'm sure everyone can do this. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Before I'm going to show you what method I'm going to use, I first want to show you the problem. Last week I bought this beautiful Egypt 2018 home shirt with Salah on the back but as you can see there are a lot of creases and wrinkles in the name set. Don't get me wrong the name set is not damaged or anything but I'm sure that this should look better. Same goes for the small number 10 over here it's just a bit wrinkled and folded. For this method you need an iron I would suggest to select the lowest setting some baking paper, an ironing board or any other flat surface and the shirt you want to fix. First I'm going to wrap the shirt around the ironing board to create a flat surface because you always want to work with a flat surface. This is going to make everything easier. As soon as you create a flat surface you can put the baking paper onto the part of the shirt you want to fix. In this case it is name set so I put the baking paper on the name set to protect it and like i said before i'm using the lowest setting and as you can see i'm constantly checking what the name set looks like so i just keep ironing the name set until i got the result i wanted all right for now we're done with the back of the shirt now we're gonna iron the front of the shirt especially the small number 10 because as you could see it had got some small creases so we're gonna fix that just using the same method. It's really easy because a small number 10 has a way smaller surface than the name on the back of the shirt. Well, it was very easy guys, very quick as well. As you can see, the number 10 looks way better. No creases anymore. The number 10 on the front looks very clean as well, just as new, but the shirt on itself, it's got some wrinkles as well. So I'm gonna fix that as well using the same method. So as you can see, we just fixed the name sets of the shirt. Now I'm gonna fix some other parts of the shirt because I think they should look better. I want to get rid of the creases. So we're gonna do that using the same method. And as you can see, I'm still using the baking paper in order to protect the shirt. You could theoretically do it without baking paper, but I don't recommend it because you never know the iron might eventually burn through your shirt and that's not what you want. So just use the baking paper as protection. This doesn't take too long because we got rid of most of the creases in the shirt. So we should be done very soon. There you go guys. This looks way better. The back of the shirt looks better as well. We got rid of almost all of the creases. The shirt has got some minor creases, but I don't really mind. You can just keep going until you got rid of all of the creases. In this case, I didn't do that because I don't really mind. I just wanted to get rid of the most visible creases. So yeah, that's up to you. Well guys, I gotta say the shirt looks 10 times better. It just looks much cleaner and smoother if you just have a look at the name set. So it was definitely worth it and it's a very easy method. If you want to try out this method for yourself, do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any damaged shirts, but you should definitely not use the highest setting of the household iron. Also, don't forget to use this baking paper because this is gonna protect your shirt. So I wish you good luck with making your shirts better. I'm sure you can do it and I hope to see you next time.